Sergei Alexandrovich Shiplev, born May 17, 1959, in Arkhangelsk, RSFSR, known as the Velsk Chikatilo, is a Russian rapist and serial killer sentenced to life imprisonment for 14 murders and 9 rapes. Most of his murders took place in the town of Velsk. The majority of his victims were women that he raped before killing. Early life Shipolev was born on May 17, 1959 in Arkhangelsk to a simple, working-class family. Shipolev had a sister two years his junior. His mother died when he was seven years old. Shipolev claims his father then began to bring women and alcohol into their home. In his early life, Shipolev received a secondary special education, served in the army, married, and had three children. He worked as a foreman in a vocational school, where he taught students how to drive. At work he was viewed positively by his co-workers. In view of this he was able to use the official car at his own discretion. Initial crimes The first murder Shipilov committed was in 1995, when he robbed and then killed a woman. However, he did not confess to this crime until 2016. In 1996, a series of rapes and murders began. While Shipolev was driving his truck, he picked up a fellow traveler. He claims that while inebriated, the woman agreed to an intimate relationship. However, Shipolev then killed the woman, stabbing her multiple times. The blade broke during the killing and stuck in the victim's body. Later Shipolev admitted to being afraid that the victim would come to his house and tell his wife about the betrayal. He buried the woman's corpse in the vicinity of Archangelsk's brickworks. That same year he killed two more women in the same way. Another woman was killed by a blow to the head. The victim's bodies were buried in the Primer Sky District. They were found only after Shipolev was captured. In late 1996, Shipolev committed a rape. The victim managed to escape, according to other sources. He let her go, and she reported him to the police. Shipilov was subsequently arrested. In the trunk of his car, a bead from one of the victim's ornaments was found. In addition, it was found that he had committed eight more rapes in 1996. On January 16, 1997, the Primer Sky District Court sentenced him to eight years imprisonment in a general regime colony. He was not even suspected in the three murders. Later, while serving his life sentence, Shipilov said that there was no rape. The sexual intercourse with the woman had been by mutual agreement, and that she had submitted a statement in order to make money from it. In the colony arriving in colony, UG-42-14 in Velsk, Shipilov came up with a unique scheme which he used to commit all his crimes. In this colony, the so-called best convoy in the air, Cyrillic small letter B, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter S, Cyrillic small letter K, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter EN, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter short 1, Cyrillic small letter EN, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter Y, infinityless system of detention where convicts could move freely throughout the colony. On occasion they could even travel beyond its borders for any administrative needs. Shipilov understood immediately that this could be used for his criminal purposes. In the summer of 1998, as a reward for good behavior, he was allowed to drive the colony's honey wagon. On December 8, 1998, he killed his fourth victim, a woman named Doyle Natsina. Unlike his other victims, he did not bury her body, but only covered it with branches. After that Shipolev hid as he was afraid of getting caught. When he returned later to the crime scene and found that the body had not been discovered, he buried it and decided to continue committing murders. He committed his next murder on May 16, 1999. A week later, on May 24, Shipolev killed another woman. He buried the bodies at the final point of his route, the dump. Between June 11th and June 27th, Shipolev committed four more murders. Two of the victims were middle-aged women, two were young girls, 
According to his confession made after his arrest, he was sorry for the young virgins, so he switched to killing only to middle-aged women. Then, in August, Shiplet hit again. Between September 22nd and 24, he committed his last murders. Each of the murders was carefully committed. He picked up women on deserted roads, and since the inside passenger door handle was removed, they had no way to escape from the truck. On the way, he offered the women vodka and when he was refused, he stopped in a deserted place and killed them. In one of the interviews, Shiplev told reporters that he only killed those victims he considered were prostitutes. He claimed that he always let any woman who refused to drink with him leave. However, later investigations found that he poured the alcohol violently into his victims. Arrest, trial and sentencing The investigation team set up under the prosecutor's office of the Archangel Skoblast were unsuccessful in their investigation into the disappearing women. Nevertheless, one day they noticed Shippy Love's honey wagon pass by a place where one of the victims has disappeared. 